Good afternoon, everybody. We just arrived at the Dark Side Ice Cream Place. Here in South Dartmouth. No. It's on uh, Bridge Road. One Bridge Road, South Dartmouth. Yeah. So if you're looking for it, that's where it is. Um, they're doing the opening inside because it is really hot out there today. And the humidity is up there. But we're going to... In just a moment, step out of the truck here, go up, order some ice cream, order some food, and we'll be right back with all of you in just a moment. Enjoying a nice Diet Coke and it's uh, maple walnut ice cream. It's sugar free. So for those people who can't, shouldn't be eating sugar for whatever reason, they have a sugar free right here and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. This hits the spot. And even people who are not diabetic or whatever, this ice cream is just delicious. I mean, seriously. Got some nice walnuts in there. This is our Santa. Gotta say, I'm a big fan. It was good. Definitely come on down. It is worth the trip. It's got a beautiful area. I also got the same one as Ron. Uh, sugar free maple walnut. Oh, that's nice. I'll take the other one. Oh yeah, that's good. Yes, I mean with the nice soft, smooth, rich flavor. <laughs> this is what's nice. It's perfect to have on a nice hot warm day tonight. <laughs> Not really sure on how to read or pronounce the name, but on the sign over there it says that it's locally homemade at a uh, cushion of creamy or something. So, on their menu, they have quite a few food items as well. And they have a lot of different flavors of ice cream. They only have this one sugar free, though. And they have about five tables. You can sit down in. They have a crowd here. So, you know, they get really busy. Oh, yeah. In a busy section of uh, South Dartmouth. And I also got a stuffed cohog. They have it either mild or regular. No, I don't like butter. So I'm putting that into Ronin's uh, stuffed cohog. Has nice breading, nice flavor. You can taste that, like red crushed pepper in it. The breading's perfect. Good amount of clams. That was really good. I enjoyed it. Looks like you. I'm gonna sit you back over the room. As you can see, got a nice quahog here. Uh, I like the break, the break uh, the stuffing very much. Very tasty. You can taste the clam juice on the end. Very tasty. Get some nice clams in here. Mm -hmm. 
I highly recommend recommend this place. Now it's time for that time of the day again, where we give the rating. As you know, well know, we three different things: uh, service, food, and of course the overall ambiance of the place and stuff like that. You can't get more pretty than being near water. You That's know why it's called dockside. D O C K, as in dock, is in the water. The service was quick, fast. I mean, I ordered my food within a few seconds, within a minute or two. I was already getting, I was already getting my food. And so the food itself, you already know. I was already giving it thumbs up. Google has it at 4.7 as a rating. Yeah. I'm giving it a five. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the nice, cool breeze from the water. Everything. I highly recommend this place. Uh, yeah, you know, it would definitely come on down. Just really a good place to uh, have a little something to eat and refresh yourself, you know? All right. So, yeah, I mean, from the ice cream, it's had really good flavor. I love the maple flavor of it. And then the walnuts, I mean, that was absolutely delicious. And serving homemade ice cream, yeah, it's always a plus. Um, just from the way that this cohog tastes, especially since I'm also a little bit full right now because we yeah. had just previously did another episode earlier. I definitely want to come here and try a couple more things. There was one thing on their menu I wanted to try, but they said that they had actually run out. So my next time coming here, I'll definitely try it. Uh, which was the tuna salad sandwich. It's unfortunate they ran out, but hey, those kind of things happen. It's uh, very, very busy here. Customers coming and going. And again, they have at least about five tables with seating. Customer service is friendly. It's right here on the dock where the water is. It's in like a little downtown area of Dartmouth. So, uh, yeah, I mean... 4.7 to say I'm going to give it, uh, I'll give it a 4.9. So thank you to everybody for always tuning in and watching all of the episodes. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, both the free and it highly helps out the channel. Also, too, please head on over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok if you haven't yet. And if you have, thank you. The like and follow is also free, and it highly helps out the channel. Head on over to the Food Love Review Show merchandise site, and you can get yourself something really cool like you always see me wearing. And as you already know, we also have many other designs, so just head on over there. Check it out. As always, the link will be in the description below and also right at the end of this video. So again, thank you from the bottom of both of our hearts. For all of you loving your support, we love you all. And we'll see you on the next review.